Right, hello, my name is Daniel Gopar, and I believe this is the fifth Elisp tutorial. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to build a small minor mode that I find pretty useful. So let me tell you what the minor mode does. So you know in languages such as Python, the Booleans are capitalized like true and uh, false. Well, personally, I find it, you know, I'm lazy. We're in Emacs, so we're all lazy. If I type true, I just want it to convert to a capital, a, capital case already. And if I type false, I want it to be capital F. So if we turn on this minor mode that we're about to create, that automatically does that. True. Oh, look at that. False. Oops. False. There we go. So it only does that if it matches false. You see? It's like that. So that's pretty much it. So let me turn that mode off. And what we're going to do is let's go ahead and build the minor mode so first off I'm gonna projects I'm gonna create a new one let's call it bool case and then inside of that bool case dot L yes alright sweet so I have a, a package installed that I automatically when I create an empty dot uh, L file it puts all this stuff in it so for now just ignore it you can build it out let's see all right, first, so first thing we're going to want to do is create a list of things that we want to capitalize. In this instance, we just want to capitalize true and false. So let's do, let's go ahead and create that. Oh, and we're going to, since we're going to call this minor mode bool case, oops, bool case mode, uh, we're going to use that prefix for everything. So I'll show you right now what I mean. So bool case words, there we go. So we're going to call it words. And then inside here, we're going to, oops, nope, we're going to have true, and we're going to have false. Oops, false. That's pretty much it. And we can put a doc string words to capitalize. Uh, that's good enough. So yeah, words to capitalize. So now if we evaluate words, control X, control E, it comes out true and false. Sweet. So besides that, let's create a minor mode. I should have done that first. <laughs> so define minor mode. So if you want to create a minor mode, this is basically what you do. You use this to create it. So we're going to create, oops, a uh, bool case. So we're going to create bool case. All right. That's the name of the, uh, the minor mode. We give it a doc string. Automa automatically capitalize booleans yep and the lighter what that is is for example right here you see this this is from projectile so projectile says um, projectiles lighter is project and then yada yada name of project or whatever since I don't have a name of a project it just has blank but pretty much lighter is the text that you should see down here yeah so lighter mode and what we're gonna use is capital B C Oh yeah, also you need to put a space because Emacs does not take care of that for you. So you need to put a space that way uh, when you have multiple lighter modes, they're not just one giant string together and you can't tell them apart. So yeah, don't forget to put the string right there. Now, what we have to do is we make an if case. And this will all make sense. So bool case mode, so if the bool case mode is called, it's turned on, what we're going to do is we're going to add a hook and we're going to add a code to post self insert mode post self insert hook and what we're going to add is oops bool case mode uh check ah oh, come on check and then nil and then t so if you see right here it says the hook the function that's the function uh and then um i'm going to append it uh, I am not going to append it <laughs> and then true true so yeah documentation and right now we will um, create that function now if we're not calling it and we're actually turning off the bull case mode we're gonna remove that hook that way it is no longer there obviously because we don't want it to run uh, bull case um, oh actually yeah bull case mode check and it was locally set so we're gonna remove it alright cool so that but before we evaluate it 
it's going to give us an error so let's go ahead and build this function so defund bull case mode check and it's not going to take anything and check if we capitalize or not that's pretty much it and so capitalize or not so if the word ends with e then we're gonna know that hey we need to capitalize and how are we gonna do that well that's easy we're gonna make an if statement and we're gonna say if the last command event is equal to 101 that is the code for uh, letter E uh, we're saying hey it, it ends with letter E so let's go check if it's a word such as true or false or if it's a word inside this list now last command event from what you guys can probably see is the last command that was ran. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So instead of doing the logic uh, right here, I'm just going to create another function, bull case mode fix. Yep. Oop, doo -doo. Oop, oop. What's happening? There we go. All right, cool. So I'm going to evaluate that. So now we have that evaluated. And now what we're going to do is create the other function, defund bull case mode fix oops fix and that's what we want so right here we're gonna do um, save excursion so let me explain this real quick I don't remember if I've explained this but save excursion basically means hey I'm gonna be moving around in the buffer and and so the position where the user was might change at the end of the operations that I'm making so I'm gonna call save excursion to no matter what I end up doing in the buffer at the very end I want it to be at the same spot that I began the command so for example if I'm if I'm right here and I call some operation that ends up doing some stuff up top up top right here when the operation ends I don't want it to just stay there I just want it to be back over here where it was so that's what save excursion does all right so next up we're gonna do copy region as kill so it basically says that we're gonna copy a region uh, in the buffer and then save it in the kill ring and we're gonna say point which is where the cursor is at and then I'm gonna do proc backward backward s expression there we go backward expression and then point so this is a whole little operation I guess you can say so we're gonna go back one s expression which is what we want and then we're gonna go we're gonna return the point of where that is so for example um, for so for example this ends with e it's gonna go all the way back one x s expression so for example bam it's gonna end up right there and it's gonna give me the point of where that is that's basically what this part is doing and then we saving that whole region as uh, in the kill ring to use later on so sweet that's pretty much it alright next what we're gonna do is we're gonna check what we just copied is a member of the bull case words so alright sweet so we're gonna say when member that's pretty easy right when member of current kill zero this is how we access the last current uh, item that's in the kill ring and the position is zero so yep that's how we do it and then we're gonna check if it's in the if it's in the words that we want to capitalize and when it is we're just gonna do guess what we're just gonna go capitalize word and we want to say that we want to capitalize just one word one yeah just just the word that we just went back on in the S expression so that's pretty much it man um, yeah so what we're gonna do is let's see uh, I think that's it for that yeah that's pretty much it and then save excursion where am I still inside yeah I'm still inside all right cool next what we want to do is remove the element that we just saved uh, element we just saved from kill ring so remember when we do this we saved it to the kill ring now if now when this hook runs a lot um, it's gonna save a lot of things in the kill ring and we don't want that because it's just gonna clutter it up so every time we add something in there we're just gonna remove it so we're just gonna do set queue kill ring and then we're gonna say you know what 
just be everything before we save it. So that's pretty much. This is basically saying remove what I just added. That is pretty much it. So I think this is pretty much it. Uh, let's see. Let's evaluate this. Evaluate it. Evaluate it. I, of course, I can just do meta x eval buffer, but I'm already here. So yeah. So I think this should work and if I run it now um, bull case mode bull case mode enable the buffer you yeah. so if I type in true yes and if I type in false yes and if I type in like house all right the yeah mode yeah you see nothing so yeah it only capitalizes true and false so that's one way to build out this uh, this minor mode so hopefully that was helpful I'm not gonna go over creating tests uh, in this video um, there's something called uh, cask which is what people use for developing uh, packages and it's pretty cool I personally haven't used it that much so I'm not gonna go into detail as to how to use it because I don't want to say something wrong when it's my like, my second time using it or whatever I, most likely I'll say something wrong so if you are interested in doing a little tutorial for this uh, just let me know and I can link it in the description and mention it in the video alright sweet thank you very much